Obadiah. Chapter 1, verse 17. Obadiah is before Jonah. And he's after Amos. Are we there? Yes. Amen. He said that upon Mount Zion shall be the Lord is amen. amen. This morning, by the special grace of God, I will be speaking on a message titled Upon Mount Zion. Somebody say upon Mount Zion. Upon Mount Zion. The Bible is speaking to us from verse 17 of Obadiah, chapter 1. He says, upon Mount Zion there will be deliverance. And I pray today, in your life there will be deliverance in Jesus' name. Amen. Not only that, he said, upon Mount Zion there will be holiness. Holiness here means the presence of the Lord. It means that God will be upon Mount Zion. Hallelujah. Can we, can we just see that place? Amen. Anywhere you see holiness, you see God. God is a holy God. Anywhere there is confusion, anywhere there is sin or darkness or there is things that are not right, God is not there. God is a holy God. Somebody say God is holy. If we only be in a place where there is holiness, where there is purity, where there is perfection, because it's a perfect God, is a holy God, is a righteous God. Hallelujah. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Holiness. If somebody should ask you, can you please describe one word that describes God? Not just one word that describes God. The word I expect for you to tell me is holy. Somebody say holy. Holy. God is holy. That is the nature of God. That is the nature that the angels in heaven praise. Do you know God is love? They don't say loving, loving God. What of you wonderful, wonderful God? One thing they praise is holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty. God who works and is and is to come. This God is holy. Oh, somebody say, I serve a holy God. Anywhere you see holiness, you see God. Anywhere there is purity, you see God. Anywhere there is perfection, you see God. Because God is the one that is perfecting the place. Oh, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. God is perfect God. Amen. Amen. Somebody said there is no imperfection in God. Holiness. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. Do you know? If you don't live a holy life, you can't make it to heaven. And that is why the Bible says, follow peace with all men. And holiness, without which no man shall see God. You will see God in Jesus' name. Amen. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. So they are possessions for the house of Jacob. They are blessings for the seed of Abraham. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, there are blessings for me. There are possessions for me. And today, I will enter into my position in Jesus' name. Now, for you to enter into your possession, you must be in Zion. There is something about Zion. And I've been struggling about Zion for quite some time. More Zion. Three things there. There shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. There shall be possession. Possession means blessing, abundance, increase. Three things. 
Upon Hosea, there shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob. Somebody say, and the house of Jacob. I belong to the family of Abraham. So there are possessions for me. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to this before we go into the main message. I want to say to you that Mount Zion is not an ordinary place. Mount Zion is a unique place. Mount Zion is a spiritual place. Mount Zion is a spiritual place with a spiritual significance. And I want to tell you about Mount Zion today. When number one about know Mount Zion, first and foremost, you must know that Mount Zion is the city of the living God. It's where God lives. It's where God dwells. Mount Zion is where God himself, God Almighty is there. In the book of Psalm, Psalm 14 verses 1 and 2, Psalm 14 verses 1 and 2, he said, Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situation. Somebody say God is beautiful. He said, beautiful for situation. Is Mount Zion on the side of the north. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Let's sing the song. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situation, the joy of Where 